I spent $1,500 on Amazon to build my at-home gym. And here's all the boxes. So I literally sold my Mercedes to build this hybrid gym set. I have to say I'm most excited about these, but we'll have to start with this. Can you guess what this is? It's actually portable. It's a gym mat. It's coming up on the edge a little bit, but it just needs to be weighted down for a little bit and should be good. This mat is eight feet by six feet and seven millimeters. Thick. The reason I chose a mat is because it's easier on the feet, but it's also soft enough to prevent plates from rolling around on the ground. So this is the most stereotypical important thing to add to a gym. And for most of y'all, you're thinking, oh yeah, you have to have that in a gym. I want it in my gym but you don't have to have it. And that is a barbell. Wow, I am already pretty impressed. This grip on this barbell actually feels better than the grip on the barbells at the gym. Nice. And of course with a barbell, you need plates. This and that is 200 pounds worth of weight. And I bought this for a surprisingly $299 and that was with free shipping. That's impressive. Not bad. <laughs> 25 pounds. So you have two 45s, two 35s, two 10s, two 25s, two cookies, and four five pounds. And it comes with barbell clamps. So in total, we have 300 pounds of weight. I'll talk about what's the most important thing when we get to it in a minute. This is a seven foot Olympic style lifting bar, which is what you probably wanna strive for if you're getting a weight setup that you wanna expand down the line. Most of every weight that you buy, used or new, will have a two inch hole. So make sure you get the two inch sleeves. Of course, if you need a barbell, you need something to hold that barbell. That's where this comes in. Yay. There are the parts. Now, let's put it together. These are uprights. Now, you could get a whole cage, but one, those are triple the price. And if Olympic lifters can use uprights, so can we. We just have to be smart. It doesn't take up much room, so that's why I really like them. And they're pretty easy to set up because the weight capacity is 500 pounds. And even me as a well-seasoned lifter, I've been lifting for a very long time, I'm not lifting 500 pounds. And whenever I will end up lifting 500 pounds, I'll just upgrade to something larger. I just don't need it right now. And you can always upgrade later as well. Now we need a bench. This had amazing reviews off of Amazon for only $70. Let's check it out. And don't worry, we still have one more big thing that we're about to get to in a second. This is the bench. I am actually relatively impressed for the price and the quality that it is. Now there is another more expensive brand out there that is higher quality and that has really good reviews, but this one, this is a great way to start. This one fully inclines and fully declines. And the material actually feels pretty decent. You might think it's a cheap bench, but it does have a weight capacity of 600 pounds. So that is a great starting point for my home hybrid gym. And finally, we have the most important item and something I was looking the most forward to this entire time. Woo! Adjustable dumbbells. Set to 15 pounds already. It looks pretty dang cool. These are the fastest adjustable dumbbells on the market. You can go all the way down to five pounds and all the way up to 80 pounds with this set. However, these do have a huge caveat, which I do want to speak about in a quick minute. Okay, I have to be honest. The main reason I got these dumbbells are for the looks. They look pretty insanely close to a normal dumbbell. And that's what I was going for. However, they're not insanely durable. You can't throw them on the ground, be super rough with them. You have to be somewhat fragile with them, which I'm willing to do for these. Now, if you don't want to baby these, then I highly recommend checking out the very durable 
power blocks. They're not nearly as good looking. I've used them a lot in my past and they are insanely durable. They can really take a beating and they wait to price for the power blocks are cheaper than these suckers. However, once again, I just like to look at these. If you want to learn to build a gym from 500 pounds all the way up to 1500 pounds, then check out this video. This is Chris, I always appreciate and respect another. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. I'll see you next time.